So, you just bought an OCR fly reel. This is a very exciting day for you. The only semi-automatic fly reel produced in North America. So let's see what we have inside. We have a beautiful Wyoming wool made, handmade wool reel sock. Outside of this, we have the OCR semi-automatic fly reel. Sealed gears, no problems with the gears ever for the life of your reel. Line guide that is detachable, just in case you decide you don't want the line guide. I love it, so I put it in there, but it, you can't adjust it 360 degrees so you can get just the right angle for your retrieve. I like to keep it down just a little bit because it just is more distance between the line and the lever. And that will reduce tangles on this lever, which is a big problem for most semi-automatic fly reels. OCR has taken that problem away. You'll also find you have an adjustable reel foot. All you do to adjust that is push in this little button, says OCR, and slide it back. And then your reel moves forward to move the tip weight down if you're fishing lakes or if you just want to elevate your rod either level or downward position. Lakes and streamer fishing, this is very handy. Or you slide it forward which moves your reel back, which will bring your weight back, which brings your tip up. So for fast water like this behind me, for hitting the pockets and keeping the line out of the water, it's just instinctive to keep that rod tip up when you move that adjustable reel foot. These are features that we have patent pending or for the OCR fly reel. What else you might wanna know is that our spool, if you'd like to change your spool out when you buy a spare spool, is all you do is pull on the handles, boom, it's out. And then I have tags hanging off of this for my nymphs. So you just gotta make sure your line's wound up in there. Back on, you'll hear a little click, and then you're ready to go, okay? The biggest feature of a semi-automatic reel is very fast line retrieve. This is why it's become very popular in tournament scenes and why this will soon be your favorite fly reel. Because you spend more time fighting fish and finding fish than you do bringing in your line. So I'm just gonna attach it to my rod here. Boom, down locking rod. Now I'm gonna find my perfect balance. Let's just say, so that's a little too far forward, right? I want it to balance, yeah, it's, it's about level, but I like my tip a little bit up. So I'm gonna bring it back just about a click. And now it comes just up a little bit. I'm gonna go one more click back. There, now I have perfect balance, right? Okay, the feature that you're gonna love about your reel is this. It's the lever pull. Very, very, very fast line retrieve, okay? That is the best feature of this reel is that your line comes in on the reel. Let me show you. I gotta take my glasses off so I can see a little better. Okay. Now I'm down to my fly line. I have a really long leader on this, really long. But how I'm gonna string this up is I'm gonna go down into my leader, fold it in half, well not in half, but make a loop, boom. This loop will go through your guides a lot easier. But before you go running through your rod guides, you wanna put, put it through your line guide. That way you can go straight up into your guides. And again, you'll see your line will go right around that lever and they shouldn't ever come in contact. Run that up and your strippy guide and every other guide after that. This is a 10 and a half foot rod, so it takes a little while. And I'm catching sticks and whatnot in the dirt, so fumbling around a little bit. Okay. Now I have the rod strung up. And we'll just say my line is out there where the huge fish are. So a good tactic 
for mi maximizing the use of a semi-automatic reel is handling the line after you hook up. You're gonna pile up slack if your feet generally are on the deck of a boat, if you happen to be floating down below you, right? So you wanna pick that up as quick as possible. So I'm gonna pass out, get my drift going, bring in my slack, boom, 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 boom. boom. Okay, now fish takes, boom, set the hook. What you wanna do is switch from your rod hand with your line here to your line hand, and now take your slack up by dropping your hand back just a bit so you can at least get your ring and your pinky finger in there, and boom, all your slack's up. And now from this point, you can just fight the fish how you normally would. Very simple, but you do need to get used to transferring from your rod hand to your line hand, and then taking up the slack here and bringing it in here. That helps keep tension on your spool so you don't get loose wraps there too. This will make you the most efficient angler on the water and it's backed by an unconditional lifetime warranty for materials and craftsmanship. We take our time to make these things so that you can take your time catching fish on the river. I'm Zach Sexton with OCR Fly Reels. Thank you for watching and enjoy your OCR Bighorn Fly Reel. Watch your step out in the wild. camera guy's slacking. Missed the hook set. But I got one on. It's already on the reel. Let's see what happens. Let's see what my camera guy does. Very fast water, so I'm not casting very far out, but I'm still having to pick up line very quickly, and I want to take control of the line as quick as possible so the beautiful native fish like this whitefish don't get away and I can see them come to hand. Can you get out, Hefe?